Hey everybody. Well now that we've already dealt with uh, an example of what happens when alien terror can come to Earth, let's uh, finally get back to us trying to manage an alien invasion of Earth. Sadly, we will not have the Z-Warriors, we will just have normal, dumb humans to help us out. So last we left off, we had kind of just started our getting the wheels turning, uh, trying to find a foothold in a few minor countries, and kind of settling on taking control of China as our big foothold for the early game in here. Uh, and I know that was a couple of weeks ago. I'm sorry! <laughs> With regards to the alien research, we hadn't gotten much uncovered, and I, it's black screen again. Why does it keep doing that on loading screens? It's weird. Akira Cortex, thank you for the 21th resub. And also, thank you to everyone who, resub, who subbed or resubbed during the Breakers stream. I couldn't keep my eye on chat as much as I wanted. I don't, I don't know how many of you came back for Terror Invicta, but if you did, I'm glad. All right, so yeah, it looks like we've still gotten some footholds in some minor countries. Pakistan, well, <laughs> I don't mean to diminish their importance by saying they're minor, just relative to China. Uh, let me just take a second to reacquaint myself here. Yeah, so Myanmar, Kazakhstan, Mongolia, definitely trying to get some bordering control points with China. I also would want people to start going into China and pumping up the Ark Society's public opinion. That's going to make it a bit easier to try and get a foothold. Right now we see the Academy is practically dominating it, which uh, may come to our detriment if they try to take control of it. Let's see. Oh man, I haven't even named people yet. I only have Vamp Planet here. I think probably not... Didn't probably not Amir die? I can't quite remember. <laughs> To go back. I need to go back through our sub list and make sure all these other guys got named, get named soon. Alright, anyway, so I was looking at this for persuasion. So we've got two people that are slightly persuasive, but honestly not a lot. We need to start looking into that. Bay Planet definitely seems to be focusing on the science and admin, as well as some boost for space flight. That's good. Do we have a foothold in... Oh, we yeah, we completely missed Indonesia. That's that's unfortunate. Would have been nice to have that for boost. I might actually want to get Singapore working on a space flight. Oh, I already did. Thanks, past me. Let's not focus too much on funding, though. If we're going to do that, let's put it in spoils, because we'll need the money. Yeah, this is okay. Standing by for orders. So if I try to send you to China right now, you have a pretty low success chance and I can't afford to put much money behind that. India is already unfortunate because the Academy is getting a foothold in here. Low odds of success. Unfortunate. Oh, and we also got most of Japan. Didn't notice that. Uh, don't think I need to focus this much on economy. Because I definitely want to make sure it can have... I don't think boost is going to help much either right now. It is pretty advanced for military, but it doesn't have any armies. I'm not sure if it's worth trying to pump that. I'm just going to leave that as is. Sorry, unfortunately, it's been forever since I've played this save. I've been focusing too much on an initiative game I'm playing personally. So it's just taking me a sec to get reacquainted with what I had everything going for. Um, it's not bad to grab India, but the fact that the Academy's already here is a bit of a problem. Go ahead and spend some... Oh, God, low chance of success even for that. We'll make our appeal. I'm here.
We definitely need to burst the Academy's bubble sooner rather than later. Do we have Deep System Skywatch? We do not. That definitely needs to be the next thing we go for. Which stinks, because i that's really going to cut down on how much I can invest into boost. Where do you need me? Acknowledged. Where do you need me? Your orders? I will try to sway the public. Good luck. Ready for my mission. We'll be running this place in no time. Ready for my mission. Make sure we can't we don't lose Pakistan. Making things safe for our people. Uh Pakistan. Let's see. Is this the best allocation? not terrible, but I think what I want to do is something like... You don't need a space flight program. Fifty-eight percent, ugh. You focused more on boost than anything else. Alright, let's see how that goes. Where's everyone else at? Oh, most of them only have three counselors. But they all have a lot more money than me. Well, the Academy's early opinion boost seems to have bit them in the butt, because now they're over their influence cap by a lot. That actually makes it easier to kick them off points. Uh, might want to check that when it comes to getting full control of India. Securing our control. And so this is how you usually get your personal research projects. Once you unlock the global tech, they kind of just filter in. There are two types of people in this world. Those who think only of home, and those who think only of leaving home. Director Khalid Alashgar, Archival Online Dating Profile. I didn't know that came from a defunct online dating profile. Uh, I'm going to have to talk to my director here. He got no game. I read that earlier. All right. There's a finite. Uh, there was a finite amount to be gleaned from our study of the vegetative life form we have dubbed Xenoflora, but not for lack of trying. The issue is that we have thus far been unable to fully crack its genetic, ma genetic makeup. For elements thereof are so, for lack of a better word, alien as to be thoroughly inscrutable to us at the present time. Now that we have been able to derive a divine any clues as to its origin, whether other than to say it is most certainly not of this Earth. While we have previously observed some correlation between Xenoflora growth and alien crash sites, causa causation now appears highly probable. Even its behavior supports this conclusion. It spreads faster than any terrestrial flora, or even fungus, with, uh, and with eerie, almost machine-like regularity. To suggest that the Xenoflora has been in some way genetically altered, or even wholly designed, would not be an unreasonable hypothesis. If left unchecked, it could very likely colonize in a region in record time, preventing the growth of all other flora. To what end, we do not yet know. It would therefore be prudent to find a way to limit the organism's spread. Alright, so let's do interplanetary chemical rockets to increase our boost income. We'll max... Uh, do I want to max that out in light of doing this? At minimum, it would still be done in May. And so would that. All right, yep, let's do that. Wait, mission to Mars? Don't do that. I'm not ready to go to Mars yet. I don't have the necessary foundation. Things are stabilizing. Public opinion is moving in our direction. Oh, good job. 10% growth. That's pretty good. 
public opinion remains unmoved. That's unfortunate, but also not entirely uh, surprising. Reusable rockets, that'll definitely help our boost investments. to take control. Also not surprising, but disappointing. Unfortunately, even though I have an 8 and a 7 persuasion, I can't exactly say I have any counselors that are really good at cracking the nut that is the big South uh, Southeast Asian countries. Well, I guess at this point it's just Asia. 2% spaceflight program, but pretty expensive for what I have at my disposal. Ready to go. Vamp planet. Honestly, I'm not sure if I want to work on unrest yet if I don't have full control of the country. These would have been nice little borders for China. Unfortunately, the resistance grabbed them first. Make our appeal. At your service. Protecting our interest. Ready for my mission. Yeah, it's pretty expensive to get almost no result. But then again, so is the public campaign. Make case. What's the op? I'm wondering if I want to change gears here. I know I said I wanted to kind of focus on a Chinese strategy, but North America is pristine. No one's tried to get Canada. No one's tried to get Mexico. And if you get both of those, the United States is pretty easy to get control of. The problem is I'd have to abandon everything we grabbed over here. Hmm. Yeah, 20% without even spending influence to control Canada. It's tempting... I will try to sway the public. Uh, it may be futile, but I want to see if we can crack this nut. Because if I can, if I can get control of either India or China, then we will have what we need. It'll just take a bit of extra finessing. Uh, you don't need a spaceflight program. But then again, you're pretty close to the equator. If you build a spaceflight program, it would be pretty efficient, but you don't have much of an economy to go for. Yeah, let's not. Uh, I think I'm going to just want to pump you for money. So let's do that. We'll keep the knowledge where it is. It's not too... It's not too much, but it's something. Let's try that. Mac the Minion, thank you for the 11 month resub. Securing our control. Oh great, prominent figures supporting us in Israel have been caught in a massive public relations scandal. Ugh, what do I have you focusing on? Mission control? That's not too bad. Focus less on funding. In fact, don't focus on funding at all. Yeah, three, three credits from this every month. That's not really worth it. 
Uh, I don't, in fact, like this spread too much, but I like having at least 30 in whatever I want you to focus on. Scandal is already making headlines across the nation. While the media will eventually lose interest, our cause's image will be tarnished by our association with such scandalized figures. Ugh. Um, well, I have the influence for that, even though I don't want to spend it. Ugh. When we're already fighting a big public opinion problem. Okay, that's not too much of a loss, but we didn't have much to begin with. Violence is abating. We oh, hold no uh, sway will, in their minds. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sissikin will thank you for the 61 month resub. You scared me. I see you so little these days, but I know you're busy. Our cause is unjustified to them. Yeah, well, this is unfortunate. Our cause is unjustified to them. Well, at least we're not losing public With opinion. With each passing day, humanity shatters the boundaries of the possible. It is our certain destiny to move mountains at the touch of a button. We need only the will to do so. And your generous investment, of course. Chairman Soren van Beek, opening remarks during Western Armory's annual earnings call. He's a little bored. So essentially, improvements to superconductors and magnetic applications. That would help. Uh, that's going to lead to space mining, because that's how you get the mass drivers that form your resource pool. All your colonies just shooting stuff up into space. Ah, interplanetary warships. We can start actually building ships. They will suck, but they can be built. Ah, now we got a couple of people sitting in here, probably academy agents, trying to increase control. Uh, I can't defend it. It's being cracked down. Go away. Making our case. Standing by for orders. Making our case. What's the up? Oh, hello. Aeronautics. Ooh, gives you a gives you boost, mission control, and research bonuses on top of administration. That's pretty good. Do I have a scientist focus? Ah, oh, yeah, this is perfect for the tech mogul. Here you go. Some xenoflora growing there that I can't even do anything about, right? Did anyone assault by. that? Standing by. You ready can. for my mission? How's unrest in Pakistan? Still kind of high, but I think I want you to deal with that. Taking it to them. Ready. The thing about xenoflora is not only can it generate. Uh, big beasties that you have to deal with later in the game, but at the same time, any sort of alien mission targeting that nation gets a boost for whatever Xenoflora is in the country. So it's very important in the early game that you kind of just nuke it when you find it, not in a literal sense, because nukes have a lot more of a devastating environmental impact, but yeah, get rid of them when you can. When you can. My initiative, they, they tone down how much Xenoflora spawns since the game came out, but my initiative game from when I first got it, first got the game, uh, there's Xenoflora in every single region on Earth in different, in different stages. So it can get annoying. What's the op? Acknowledged. Uh. And you're wasting your time in China. You can't even try and control China. Oh, that's right, because you're enemy of the state. Or Persona Non Grata. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, geez, Myanmar is not looking too good. Why don't you... Is defending our interest worth it in Myanmar? I don't want to lose the country before I can try and get China, but at the same time, it doesn't give me much. Eighty-one percent spoils to not get an unrest boost. Wow. 
That's corrupt. Where do you need me? Uh, go talk to Yamaguchi. Make sure she doesn't turn on us. Last thing I need right now is a and counselors I can't be trusted. Your orders. Meanwhile, you. Well, if we can't use you to gain traction anywhere, maybe we can weaken someone else. Or, you know, if we captured one of the Middle Eastern countries and went full spoils, we could get a lot of money. Saudi Arabia is kind of a prize, but it obviously is the hardest one to get control of. Go ahead and try your hand at that. We'll bring this nation to our side. One in three ain't nothing. Space dock, that's your first league. I build believe ships. they'll stay loyal to the cause. Of course there was an accident. Frankly, I'm surprised it took this long. Just get the recovery crew in there to salvage the gear ASAP. Worry about the bodies later. The delays are costing us. Chairman Soren van Beek, internal memo. Regarding a mine collapse. Leaving Earth is one thing, colonizing nearby worlds is another. Reliably and rapidly traversing the infinite expanse of space is yet another, and perhaps the toppest of these of these nuts to crack. Our current spacecraft and engines are capable of no such thing, at least not for any useful length of time. The major stumbling block is fuel, with our current resources current sources constrained both by storage. Why do I feel like I skipped a line here? With our current sources constrained by both storage and propulsion limitations, it is a problem the world's finest engineers and physicists have long labored to solve. And now, and they now believe that a pathway to next generation propulsion systems is open to us. Efficiency is the foremost avenue of their exploration, increasing the speed and longevity of propellant while reducing wear and damage to our ship's drives and nozzles. Now that the essential, con essential concepts are established, our researchers believe there are three possible paths to tread, electromagnetic, electrostatic, or electrothermal propulsion. Each has its own advantages and will depend on our prior discoveries in other fields. So, I would want to start working on a different kind of drive. Uh, honestly, because a lot of these go into boost and space exploration and that's kind of our whole thing, using to get off Earth. But I also want the Academy to take a massive hit by us finding out that the aliens are here and they are not friendly. So deep system Skywatch it is. Ugh, and of course, they're already researching missions to other planets. That should be what we, we're, we're doing, but because we're so far behind on our boost, uh, it's not really worth it to do right now. That's why I'm not helping. Our case remains unheard. Ah, 6% off. We hold no sway in their minds. Much greater chance of failure. Target stealing one piece. No, he didn't even blow up the Xeno. And now it's disappeared, so you can't try again. Boo. We failed to take control. How's this doing? Well, the resistance is aiming for it. That's not too bad. Honestly, I... If I could pick any faction to get control of the United States, the resistance is up there. We need we need we need a strong anti-alien faction just to buy us time and you know, distract the aliens. Alright. So let's do reusable rockets. Or I must Nah, everything's so close by, it doesn't matter. Uh, this real this pays off when you're not needing to send probes to like just the moon. The moon takes a, takes just a couple weeks to get to. Mars is a different story. So if we had this by the time mission to Mars is ready, that's good, but I'm gonna start us here. Uh, let's see, ready by June. That is a bit ways away. That's a bit better. Yeah, let's do that. It's, it's, not, it's not exactly efficient to split it up like this, but That'll still get done in two months. This will still get done this year. All right.
right, so we weren't able to get any sort of foothold in Saudi Arabia. That's not entirely unforeseen. I'm just wondering how much effort I want to put into this before I try to bail for another country. Because no one's getting control of China anytime soon. The aliens can kind of hack their way in, since they're buddy buddies with the aggressors. But... It, would always, it was always going to take me forever. The problem is, I don't have any other major nation to really go off of, except for maybe Japan, and I don't even have full control of Japan. Now I'm already over my cap. Actually, wait, why am I over my cap? What did I get? I was under my cap just a little ago. Did one of these points become more valuable? Uh, I'm not sure. Standing by. Putting our people in place. Reporting in. Oh, the, yeah, the, those are monthly incomes, not daily. I just like how that looks more than seeing the decimal places I get per day. Uh, I'd rather not lose my MR. We'll Go turn down the heat. That. I'm here. I'm thinking of dismissing Yamaguchi. Having having a criminal counselor isn't nothing, but I just don't have much for her to do. Maybe if she had something that would help, like give her some more th more missions. But at the moment, yeah, they're all pretty expensive, except for this one. But I don't want to spend the money on honestly nothing. Uh, how about you just go ahead and surveil locations, see if there's anything growing in. Ah, I keep forgetting I can't put you in China! Uh, we, do I have the, can I get rid of that trait? Hold on. Just, this doesn't give you anything good. Yeah, so, it's a bit expensive to get rid of, because it's not just experience, but it's money and influence, but I'm sick and tired of having to dodge where I put you. You're free! Now go to China and find out what they're doing. Initiating surveillance. Reporting in. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can't put some of my meager resources. We'll make our yeah, I, if I could if I could get your service. If I could get India and Japan, that that it, it's not the best start, I think, but it's a good start. And if I can kind of just close in on China later in the game, like maybe a decade from now. Uh, then, then that can make it pretty solid. It just sucks that I have to, I have to at least share one control point in both of these countries. Yeah, no, I, I had. So the worst part about that. So Ethel brings up the worst thing to worst thing to happen. The worst thing ever is when you send them to investigate someone, and then that person moves to a country where they they can't that counselor can't move to so they automatically abort the mission you know i have a paranoid counselor in another game that happens constantly paranoid is a trait that gives you actually some good investigation espionage boost but you can't go into a country with higher than say six unrest uh and that's a lot of the world especially if you end up having to have a lot of wars go on so it can bite you in the butt Compared to, eh, well, honestly, both of these are pretty bad. I will tell our story, but I'll try. Let's do the time warp again. Eyes up. Ooh, boy. 
Daka is uh, seeing an explosion of growth of alien life forms. The scale of alien life forms is already a whole ecosystem in the, in itself. Environmental agencies are concerned that its growth could spiral out of control if not addressed immediately. While xenobiologists argue that it's that this presents a unique chance to study the aliens' ecosystem in a larger scale. So we either can just do nothing, or we can try and burn it away, or learn from it. At this point. I feel like I'm a bit starving for research, and I do have a counselor that can burn away Xenoflora if, it, if I have to, so I'm going to go with this. Yeah, and that actually dragged this up by a month. Nope, I think the, yep, the initiative is probably trying to get full control of Bangladesh. Or some, actually, they already lost control of their points, huh. Things are cooling off. Yeah, you just stay there for a while. We hold no sway in their minds. Our gaze remains unheard. Mission in progress. All right, okay. Some success. Now we've got two control points. Oh, do not go. Well, I did not know I was prioritizing it like that. Let's not do that. We, if you have a country that doesn't have it with one point, almost 1.5 billion people, and it doesn't have 50 per capita GDP, focus on economy. Because if you do that, this number will go way up. This number will get way, way up. And if you have a lot of investment points, then everything else benefits. So I definitely do not want you to focus too much on any of this stuff. Uh, welfare and unity. Those aren't nothing. Yeah, because if, if cohesion's low, there's unre there's already unrest. Yeah, that's the balanced state of unrest in India is 4.4, .4, which causes investment points to decline. So I'm thinking something like this. This isn't the greatest spread, but I kind of want to I kind of want to press the gas on India's growth. Uh, and I can't do that really until I have full control, but I guess the academy putting something in military isn't too bad. Is there a way to increase population growth? I'm not sure what sort of investment allocation you should make to get population growth. I would figure welfare is the most applicable, but I'm not sure. It doesn't, it doesn't, I don't think it says. Da da da, decreases environmental harm. And, and decreases inequality. Yeah, I'm not sure what governs population growth. What vamp planet? I need you to keep working on India. Establishing our presence. Standing by for orders. Yeah, no, and that's and that's and that philosophy of if things are better, people will probably have less kid. If well, better is such a broad term to use there. But if things, you know, if everyone's richer, they're probably having less kids. That also would mean, yeah, welfare would decrease population growth. I'm not sure what the equation is. They did say what they wanted to do in a later patch to the game is kind of help tell you why certain numbers are going up and down, and I think that would be pretty helpful. Because, like, for example, I don't exactly know why GDP changed by uh, 31.9 billion in the last 30 days. I just know it did. I can only guess it's because of the investment in economy. Yeah, no hope of purging that. If I purge this, it doesn't make much of a difference. Uh... I don't have the influence to go do that, but why don't you go protect Israel? I do want to make oh, sure God. I don't lose control of it. I'm here. We must persuade the people. Ready to go. We must persuade the people. And our third alien ship has arrived in low Earth orbit. Let's take a look at it. Stalwart Wisdom, Shadow Dancer class gunship. Give them this, they have nice ways to name their ships. Now we actually know a bit about this. 
So this is pretty much a train. Yeah, no, it even tells you. Yeah, transport ship. It is armed. It has a laser cannon on it. So if, if I were to throw anything at it, it would be able to shoot at them. But you notice it has no extra hull weapons. And it's, even its utility modules are probably we're going to crash into Earth and leave an alien here. And then also a heat sink. <laughs> so I'll tell you what. I'm going to zoom out. And I'll guarantee you in the next two days it's going to say alien ship crashes on Earth. I'll keep them safe. Hey, UFO crashes on Earth in Peru. It's only to send someone over there next turn. Oh, look, here it comes. Order is returning. Public opinion remains unmoved. Now that was a close one. Public opinion remains unmoved. Less close, but still close. Control nation. One in four. We were unable to establish control. Yeah, no. The, word, the odds weren't in your favor. I just hoped. Ah, and the academy's getting a foothold. All right, so now it's a bit, it's a bit more dire. Because whoever gets the next control point gets executive control of the country. However, this control point isn't defended yet. They're probably going to do that next turn. But I'm wondering if ready to go. Try purging that point. Do not spend. In fact, don't don't do that yet. I want to make sure Vamp Planet ready. has the best odds. Bringing them, which on. isn't a lot of odds. In fact, it's worse Standing odds by. than before. But then you can try that. Removing our enemies. Ready to go. A lot of long odds here. I will tell our story. Is there any new orgs Your that I can use to help? No. Yeah, I don't I don't I don't need something that boosts space mining yet. I don't even have any mines in space. I will tell our story. And so much for sending someone over to Peru. In fact, yeah, you know what? Who had who had the worst odds of public opinion? Ready. Okay, Ready so for you, orders. You go over here. See what happened in Peru. On Overwatch. Okay, yeah, no. Some countries are starting to do better, which means their control points are more valuable. I might... Well, this one's already cracked down, so I'm losing that. Um... thinking if push comes to shove I want to keep Japan Pakistan Singapore uh, which actually my guess means Myanmar's out it's not nothing but actually I, guess, I think it's the poorest of the countries I have yeah Singapore has more oh no North Korea is definitely the poorest what am I thinking um but I like having the nuke, and I like having that border with China. But then again, this is two control points, which provide a bigger boost. Hmm. I'm paying about six CP points for that. Go and abandon it. I guess see that does that brings me closer. I'm not even below cap just by abandoning it. Setting a watch. All right, so. Yep, xenofauna. Xenoflora, right where the ship crashed. Things are How stabilizing. So young, caught up as you are by the modern world, begin to understand what war is. I did what had to be done. Closing your eyes and wishing the monster away only makes you an easier meal. Colonel Hans Castillo, during a war crimes trial, yeah, just a little bit more of a window into uh, Humanity First mindset. Living with the certainty we are not alone requires a change from observing the cold world's uh, our outer solar system when it's... Uh, okay, hold on. I missed a word. Requires we change from observing the cold worlds of our outer... No, it's, it's supposed to, it should be of our, but it's missing. 
when it suits us, some scientific purpose to actively monitoring them as an intelligence gathering operation. Like Sentinels on the, I feel like I had the same problem in the demo, they didn't fix it. Uh, with Earth and space stations constantly in motion, doing so requires an integrated network of sensors and analysts ready to investigate whether a transient blip is a small and simple chunk of nickel and iron on a grand journey through the universe or an alien spacecraft coasting toward Earth. So, now we can see where the aliens set up shop. It looks like they did on Quanar. Oh, they said definitely set up shop. All right, now what are we doing? Um, I'm thinking fission in space. We need mass drivers for mining, but we're not getting to any of the planets anytime soon if we don't have uh, the text this leads us down. Yeah, so let's go for that. Oh, Terra, that's a nice badge you got there. Two whole years. Our case remains on Earth. Yeah. That, that'd take forever. Um. Yeah, let's do hide those probes now. Give that a bit of a kick. Servants, Protectorate, and Initiative do not care about nuclear fission in space. How incredibly short-sighted. Uh, okay, all of this will be done this year. I think that's the best I can hope for. Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I want to do that one first. Because that, that's another one that increases the boost investment. Uh, yeah, do that. Uh-oh, we got abductions. We got abductions, people. Reported in the Tunisia. Re in Tunis region of Tunisia. Well, that's a problem. They're starting to steal people now. The probing begins. We still lack support. Damn. Can we purge the point? Our enemies are still in control. Oh, that was actually eh, closer than I thought it would be, but still more odds. India remains a battleground. Uh, I need someone to go find out what's going on over here. Eyes up. Your orders? Vamp planet, I'd rather you stick around. Acknowledged. Anyone else can check that out? Where to? You, Ready. You don't need to do that. You're done there. Go investigate what's going on here. Investigating alien sight. Ready for orders. Uh, yeah, go ahead and defend our points. Making things safe for our people. Ready for your orders. I will try to sway the public. What's the op? So, and as you can see, my income has gradually gone up, and this is kind of the spoils coming back uh, in our favor. Uh, because you don't, it doesn't get added to your income estimate, but every single time one of these uh, ratios fills out, where is it? I forgot right here. Every time this bumps up by one, you immediately get a cash dump. From the country into your own wallet. Just remember, it's pollution. So if you're playing the long game, it's not exactly sustainable. Establishing control. All right, here we go. Let's do the time warp again. It's just a jump to the left. Interest. Initiating surveillance. And a step to the right. Put your hands on your hips. Bring your knees in tight. But it's the... Oh, jeez. This isn't good. I have not been paying attention to Europe. And while I've been busy in Asia, they've taken control. That's not good either. They've taken control. Oh, here we go. This is what I've been waiting for. 
Images of obvious alien military ships and structures in the far in the far solar system has dashed hopes worldwide for peaceful contact. Many who wish to seek an avenue of cooperation with the aliens are changing their views in light of some of the first hard facts about their arrival. The road ahead is fraught. Roughly half of the control points belonging to the Academy will suffer the crackdown effect for 12 months, which means they're easier to take over. The Academy suffers a massive loss of public opinion around the world, which means China doesn't like them as much. And all nations' cohesion moves by one towards extreme values, meaning they either move down towards fractured or up towards, uh, uh, what is it? Monolithic? Essentially, less diversity in thought, so research kind of takes a bit of a dive. All right, let's take a look, shall we? India. A lot more undecided than people who like the Academy. I don't like that Humanity First is actually the lion's share of opinion. Ooh, this is also not good. Humanity First had... <laughs> essentially, everyone who was in the Academy's camp became xenophobic as hell. Not that it's not surprising. Not that it's surprising, but also not exactly what I wanted. Because now it's essentially... It's replaced one with the other. I don't think many people jumped into our camp. Oh, it went up. It's at 21%. But then you also have Humanity First at 49 Yeah, every piece of political opinion went up except for the academy uh did they lose control of any points okay good this is good one of their points in india is cracked down which means i can purge it pretty easily anywhere else are they easier to get to anywhere else does not look like it i actually would rather them have control of russia than say the servants or anyone else so the fact that they suffered a lot of damage here isn't good and I also do not like how the servants are in control of France. That means if they get control of any other country in the EU, they can unite it and make a bigger super state. All right. And the resistance has got Canada. And they're all, okay, yeah, the resistance is definitely gunning for the US. I don't think they have anywhere close to the Michigan. Yeah, no. They were already maxed out their mission control, which means they're going to have to really start dumping countries if they go for the U.S., but I'd rather them take it. Uh, I think that's it when it comes to the Academy's losses, so really, I don't think they're too bad off. They didn't have a lot of control points in the first place to get cracked down on. Oh, no, I'm seeing them. Yeah, they lost, a, they lost a big chunk of their foothold in Europe. They might keep it. it remains to be seen if every single one of those points can be purged in time, but they're going to be like that for a whole year. Alright, anyway, to the next turn. Our cost is unjustified. To Unfortunate. Here's what we've found. Although we cannot rule out the possibility of a hoax, a, st a statistically significant quantity of animals and humans have been reported missing in the areas surrounding the alien spacecraft's crash landing. I don't think it crashed over there. Although our researchers are more interested in the possibilities of the alien technology, it's probably worth taking a closer look. We have gathered a huge amount of data and reports concerning these so-called alien abductions. Winnowing accurate information from the chaff of exaggerated and sensationalist stories will take time. Yeah. That's what I figured. I don't like that the Protectorate's taking them, but whatever. We're taking over. Okay, okay, this is good, this is good. I now have executive control of India. It's, I'd rather have full control of India, but now I can control who they're allied with, who they make war with, and all that jazz. So this is good, this is good. And now I'm gonna focus trying to get, um, now my focus is, <laughs> <laughs> putting my boot to the academy's ass and getting full control of the country. So, who has the best espionage of our counselors? That would be Yamaguchi. Reporting in. So get over here and purge this. Oh, geez, even crackdown is only four percent. We're taking power. Good luck. Back your service. Where do you need me? I need you. No, not you. At your service. And now that we have full control of the country, I definitely do not want there to be high unrest, so guess what you're going to be doing? Where to? I still want to make sure I have good public opinions. I keep 
me on that. We must persuade the people. Acknowledged. You make sure not people like us in Israel that they don't want to flock to another person's banner. Making our case. And you, planet. Yeah, no hope there. I spent a lot of money to get that. Uh, do I want to shore up my base in Japan, or do I want to see if I can't start taking a bigger crack of public support here? With only one in ten odds, let's let's shore up Japan for now. We have time. We must persuade the people. So ideally, I want to get this economy investment to 40, but I can't do that while the academy's trying to pump mission control down here. Milita having them invest in the military isn't too bad. Public Without sentiment is increasingly with us. Not having control of the United States meaning I means I do need a military powerhouse, and it's probably going to have to be India. I could put Japan to work here, since it does have a higher miltech value. Uh, but it doesn't have any armies, and I don't really want to spend the time to build them. Because if you build an army, if it's an island nation, you then have to build a navy. <laughs> and it just snowballs into more effort. What you could do, I don't recommend it, I don't think it's very efficient, but you could do this, uh, is build up the miltech value of a smaller country that at least has the economy for it, and then merge it when you have the option, like you could, like you can merge the EU, merge it with another country, and then the miltech value actually averages out. So if you paired together China with Japan, right now you'd probably still end up with a atomic age military, but it wouldn't be that far from becoming information age. I think instead, what I want to do is, like I said, press the gas on India's economy, and then when it gets pretty high, then shift over to military investment. Then it can catch up. We're winning their hearts and minds. Just gotta get rid of the academy. Things are cooling off. Public opinion remains on move. And I really gotta make sure my counselor is gonna start getting better at doing stuff. Like I, sh I really want to get the values of the stuff I use them for at ten. Or more. Just the cap's 25. Sadly, not a lot of organizations have come down the pipeline that are easily obtainable. Who has low administration? I might still get this Taurus group. Uh, you. That's going to hurt my income because he's pretty broke, but I think we can stomach it. Uh, let's go ahead and boost Vamp Planet's Persuasion directly. Uh, what am I using you for? I'm using you for a lot of things, I think. What did I use you for this round? Probably on res unrest? Prepping for next mission. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was unrest. So let's go ahead and boost your Oh, really? Now of all times the Academy is still poaching me? We're gonna have to talk to the Academy here. This is annoying. I don't want to be the Academy's enemy. I just, you know, they were contesting all of the same points I've been contesting. I might, I might try and get in contact with them and, like, give them something. Trillions of dollars just sitting up there, yet still the regulators drag their heels. Maybe it's time I treated the president to another golfing weekend. Chairman Soren van Weyck. Uh, that's sad. We may feel we know our nearest neighbor well, yet our visits to it are far apart and fleeting. The moon is a natural stopping ground, staging ground for missions to other worlds in the solar system, as well as as well containing boundless resources of its own. So it's high time we attempted larger term habitation upon its barren surface. The rare earth metal deposits and water housed there could be a significant benefit to both lunar colonization and orbital construction efforts, freeing us from the need to expensively and slowly transport critical resources from Earth. 
The moon may not seem as uh, enticing as a trophy, a trophy as Mars, Venus, or beyond, but would be foolish to squander the wondrous opportunities it presents us with. Untangling decades of international regulation and concerning its exploitation will be no easy matter, however. Leave that to the shadow of the balls. All right, so now that we have mission to the moon, we can both build stations orbiting the moon and send probes to it to figure out just what goodies it has on its surface. Fire. We'll check back on that in 19 days. Oh, right, and I have to pick a new tech. Uh, this is when I want high thrust probes. Uh, yeah, I definitely want this done before Mission to Mars. So let's, yeah, let's keep it in the back. If I'm doing it like this, I might as well have them all be red. Mm, there. Our associates were unable to take control. Yeah. Well, fortunately, I have all the time. I have all the time in the year to try and purge that point. But at the same time, I want to make sure I can go find the academy and make friends with them. Where to? Or at least tell them to leave me the f alone. Where do you need me? You go purge that point. Wait, no, I need you here. Sorry, I thought someone else was going to do that. Targeting the opposition. Where do you need me? We'll make our appeal. Ready. We'll make our appeal. Where to? Now, see, this is more like it. I will tell our story. You. What's the odd? Go purge that point. Terminating the opposition. Reporting in. Ready for order. I changed my mind. Investigate this counselor, because that's probably the Academy Council. Eyes on target. Busted the point to begin with. Ugh, I'll have to wait. I have new information. The inspector for the academy. Went to Bangladesh. Oh, okay. You're stealing their points. All right. Not sure I agree. Um, also, at the same time, not sure I even want to spend the time on that executive point. So feel free. Public opinion is moving in our direction. Public sentiment is increasingly with us. Good. We hold no sway in their minds. Unfortunate. Our associates are now in charge. All right, good job, Yamaguchi. We're wrapping up here. I keep saying Yamaguchi, but I keep feeling like ready this, for uh, orders. No, nope, Yamaguchi. Just feels wrong. All right, so now we got full control of India's military. We're really starting to get that economy investment I wanted. Just got to get this last point. When does this get, when does this lose protection? October of this year. I gotta make sure I remember that. Um, let's see. I don't want to make nice with the academy yet because I still want to purge their two points here. Well, well, what do they currently consider me as? In conflict, but they're in conflict with everybody but humanity first, oddly enough. State of the world. Resistance has gotten full, pretty much full control of North America. They're just to probably needle their way into the U.S. I do not like that the servants have this much control in Europe, but fortunately, you need full control of the country to unify it, and they do not have that with any of them. So that's at least a point in our favor. But Turkey has servants. 
That's not good. Well, at the very least, let's see if we can't make bygones be bygones with bygones with Pakistan. At long last, a feud is over. Ready for orders. You know, let's let's start making headway here. Oh gosh, I'm paying attention. Yeah, I know because I'm not I'm not putting any money into spoils in India or Japan. I think. Yeah. Because the thing is, I want I want my these two major countries to be pretty good at a lot of stuff, and spoils would stop that. The high price of paying me money. So, it's really sure long. Yeah, you know what? Hmm. I should probably really up the spoils in Singapore if I want more money out of the deal. But I do want to make sure they have a space program. No. No, I want to leave that as is. Yeah, it's not it's not good. I mean it's not perfect, but it's it's I think it's something what I need. I need to have a more equatorial base. Um Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka could probably do with higher spoils, but it doesn't have as much as I would get elsewhere. Oh, and it's not doing pretty good when it comes to that. Uh, how about you work to stabilize Sri Lanka? We'll turn down the heat. I'm here. You work to stabilize India. Restoring order. Uh, Acknowledged. When are when do these expire? I mean, not for a while. So yeah, go ahead and double up protection here. Securing our control. What's the op? You keep trying to make them like us. They work. It's not. It's just making headway. Forty percent. Making our case. Ready for my mission. Uh, keep making them like us, because eventually we're gonna go purge I that. I will try to sway the public. <sighs> oh, our probe has arrived. All right. So, oh, geez. Okay, so here's the thing: the moon doesn't have a lot of much. Doesn't have much of anything. I mixed my phrasing there. It doesn't have a lot, or it doesn't have much of anything. Not both. Um, but the fact that there's a spot that has 18 Thistle income is quite remarkable. Uh, and there's not bad water income. Water, uh, wa water is a pretty good one you need. You need that for propellant and whatnot. Um, ideally, uh, yeah, no, I think Superman might have crashed there. Uh, because that's a lot of Thistles. All right, can I put a... Uh, I can't, I can't put a base down. Because I don't have the orbital core tech. Ah! Damn, that's a problem. That's a real big problem. Um, shit. I might actually lose that point then in the time it takes me to research this. Everything else stops. And I, eh, this would still take two weeks. I, I really want this point. Ideally, I'd want two points. I think I would want... The Piri Crater and the Dielbert Crater. Does the moon ever have noble metals? I don't think it has ever. It, do, it usually doesn't have much when it comes to noble metals. Like, you're lucky, you're lucky to get much of anything from the moon aside from metals. Yeah, I'm wondering. Yeah, you know what? Never mind. I've I've rethought it. I'll want the Dielbert crater and the Shackleton crater. The Shackleton crater has a little bit of everything, minus noble metals, and then of course you have the one with all of the thistles. So if I can get that tech and I can afford the boost, I'll put two outposts down on the moon and then let everyone else claim what they want. All right, who else launched a probe? Yeah, pretty much every faction has probably launched a probe to the moon by now, which means they'll start getting their own readouts. And the thing is, even though your outpost won't get there for another month, you can plop down and claim a spot immediately. Um, crap, I didn't even think about getting the outpost core. That was a, that was a oversight. Because now I have to go two weeks without having that interest. claim. Yeah, but 
those that's probably the protectorate. Uh, yep. Other oh, is starting to arrive. Go ahead and yeah, I have the ops income. Might as well help help them. Oh wait, that was Bangladesh. Ugh. And that's problematic. We've moved the needle. Violence is abating. Violence is abating. Our case remains on earth. Oh, that's a close one. Come on. You could do better. You know, defoliance. Don't exactly need that right now. That was inevitable. In fact, in retrospect, I shouldn't have helped that typhoon. I was about to lose control of the country. What a waste of ops. Okay, now this is something we have to address now. Where to? Removing our enemies. Standing by. Protect the point. Defending Try to make that harder. VIP. Your orders? You keep trying to make them like us. Actually, Vant Planet, where are your At odds? your service. 1% more. Yeah, no, you just keep making Sri Lanka a safer place. We'll restore peace to this nation. Ready to go. We must persuade the people. Reporting in. Uh, you go to, yeah, you go to, no, you just send you guys. I will tell our story. All right. And how are things looking on the moon? Where's the goddamn moon? Okay. No one's claimed anything yet. That's probably because do they have any? Do they have enough boost? Okay. No. Oh. Okay. Ugh. The academy has a lot. The academy. Fortunately, the academy has one mission control cut up in the. International Space Station. They can only build one more. They can only build an out, one outpost before this gets filled up, and then they're stopped. No one else has a lot of boost, so I think that may be our saving grace when it comes to trying to catch back up. But I'm not. Sh I can't quite remember how much a base on the moon costs with how much we've researched. Okay. Stop the presses. Now, I'll, I'll solve that in a second. First, get, take me to the moon. To the moon! Okay. 6.6. .6. We can build one outpost right now. And we can build another one in just a little bit. So, go ahead. Give me the Elmbert. And I'll come back in hopefully just about a month for Shackleton. You kind of... And you also... Yeah, I'll, I'll explain it when it shows up, because it'll only take a couple of days. Well, it'll take a couple of weeks. Anyway, uh, project. Go back to... Oh, that actually would have helped, but not too much. High thrust probes. Uh, let's switch that around. Yes, everything gets done this year. I'll keep them safe. You swing me right round, baby, right round. Our like cause a... is unjustified to them. Oh, come on! Like a 3% mischance. Eh. Public opinion remains unmoved. Whee! The opposition remains in power. That's unfortunate. Well, even with 60%, you would have lost. I didn't spend that much on it. Well, at least uh, putting three counselors in Israel scared them away. Alright, 6.3, so we're almost able to get that Shackleton Crater base. Uh, you... I'm starting to think I want some counselors to advise, just to keep the account... Oh, that's right, you have not gotten resecured. You go here. I've ahead them. Reporting in. You go secure Japan. Protecting our interests. Standing by. You try purging that point again. Targeting the opposition. 
I'm here. Oh, good. We have supporters in Cuba? Not helpful for my current global strategy. All right. Um, They could move someone here. And that point still protected for at least another turn. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I guess we could try two people trying to purge it, but I feel like that's going to be a waste. Actually, yeah, if you have a greater odds of doing it, how about Your you orders? don't bother with that. Instead, go, yeah, go make sure they don't get a foothold in China with some Xeno. Going flying. in hot. Your orders? You purge the point. Terminating the opposition. Reporting in. Keep trying to make them like us. I, I'm liking this growth. I think this is a bit natural. It's not public campaigning, but I do like the fact that the majority of the country is behind us now. That should make purging this point when they're when they lose protection a lot easier. I will try to sway the public. All right. I'll keep an eye on this. Once I hit 6.6 .6 again, I'm going to go make buy that second safe base. For Offering counsel. Almost. Almost. There we are. And then give me the Shackleton Crater base. And we're done. We're done. We don't... Uh, the more... The problem is the moon kind of has diminishing returns. The more you invest into it, the less likely you are to enjoy what you get out. It's not bad for metal income, but you have to pay water and volatiles for every single hab you have. Uh, and the fact the moon gives you so little in those two categories means you really... You don't want a lot of bases on the moon. This was especially justified because it was so much fissile income, and then this one had a little bit of everything, but the only other, the only, if you could, if I, if I could justify one more base, it would be the one with 31 metal income, because at least that helps pay for other facilities. But I, I'm done with moon building for now. In fact, the Tiagon station really needs to turn into something important. Uh, sadly, I just spent all of my boost, but I think I'm going to turn Tiagon station into a Xenoscience station. Because that'll actually help me discover uh, alien shit on Earth. Oh, Terra, I'm always thinking that RNG is going to screw me over. I just did never get, never not get disappointed if you will tolerate the double negative. Oh, I've got several... I'm so tense from the Breakers stream earlier today. I'm trying to run away from Cell and Frieza and whatnot. I'll have the archive of that up on YouTube uh, tomorrow morning, by the way. If anyone doesn't want to deal with what our Twitch is doing to the our archive. Our cost is unjustified to them. Uh, running away from a certain threat is not justified? I think it's really justified. Also, 1% off. Come on. Faster. Target secure. All right, good job. Wiped out all invasive flora and fauna. Nice job. Should make China a bit safer. Uh, that's unfortunate. We might still be able to purge that point. Your position and just, remains uh, sucks. We didn't lose a lot, but I'm sad that we lost it. Yeah, we lost some research and one mission control and then a kind of mo modern military, but uh, I'm more lamenting that we seem to be at such dire straits with the Academy of all factions. Well, if I'm willing to let Israel go, do I want to go ahead and make friends with the Academy? No, probably not, because I definitely want to get full control of India. And this will be unprotected by the time the next turn happens, so let's leave it alone. Standing for one by for go. orders. You continue to advise. Offering assistance. 
At your service. You also advise. Right? Or maybe. Yeah, no, hold on. Stabilize Sri Lanka. We'll make things safe. Where do you need me? Um. Yeah, you know what? I, you're gonna go a bit of a. You're gonna go on a world tour here and help get rid of all the Xeno forming I found. Heading out about. to the LC. Where to? You uh, shake your fist angrily at this guy and leave, I guess. Ah. Uh, I don't like how much of the map is painted in servant colors. They don't have full control of any of any major countries, but they're kind of everywhere. And I don't like it. Oh, speaking of, we can meet with the initiative or the protectorate. I don't care about either right now. Um, I don't really want to increase on I don't really feel like making Israel harder. Uh, what can you do right now that would be useful? Yeah, you don't have the stats to bash your head against a protected point. Could I give you more espionage? Not at the moment. No, this ain't a bad org. Uh, what am I missing to grab it? Ah, influence, of course. Persuasion, espionage, science, security. Probably not the best thing for Yamaguchi, but not a bad org for somebody. Oh, we can try and purge the community first point in Japan. That's not nothing. But they'll probably try to defend it. We're taking power. At your service. I will tell our story. All right, confirm. Let the wheels turn. Lending my expertise. Oh, great! Another ship's about to crash. Oh, two more ships. Slovakia and Guatemala. First lunar base founded, with Earth shining behind them like a sapphire against the black sky, the astronauts began the process of assembling the first shelters of, for the lunar base. Prompted by mission control to say something, the spacesuited commander turns to the camera, her face obscured by a golden visor. This time, she says, motioning towards the gray surface, we're here to stay. <coughs> Maybe don't tell her that we're trying to leave. All right, so just to kind of show you guys how uh, the kind of uphill battle we're facing here, we have our outpost core, which is doing practically nothing, uh, trying to sense a new thing here would cost us about five boost. The mining complex, which would go here, costs even more. Uh, I believe before we research a couple more texts that make uh, sending stuff off Earth easier, it would be about 20... No, it would be 40. Before nuclear freighters, it's about uh, 40 to 30 boost to send something like that off of Earth. Order is returning. Good. Our case remains on Earth. Bad. Uh, typhoon towards North Korea. Major damage to the economy. Well, there's not much of one to begin with. Oh gosh, what do I, I did not this do not do this. Yeah, this at best, honestly. There, there's not much to get out of North Korea other than its nuke. I don't think I need a major public opinion boost in North Korea. Eh, uh, well. How much does it cost me? 220? That's actually a lot of my ops. Leave it. Unable to destroy target. Also unfortunate. You had good odds on this one. Stop. Our enemies are still in control. 
Uh, wait, let me guess. They defended interests? Yep. Wait. They didn't. Why did your odds go down? I thought you had like 50. And I've been paying attention. Anyway, so. The Academy lost their point What's in, the in India. Come back. Removing our enemies. Ready for my mission. Don't spend too much money. We'll make our appeal. What's the op? Must persuade the people. Where do you need me? Restoring order. Standing by. For Try order. again. Oh, it's gone. Uh, Gear up. Oh, at, uh, wait, 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 wait. Take some ops. We're going in. More abductions. Can't worry about that now. Must focus on India. And Iran has nukes. And humanity first is in control of Iran. Not ideal. They're very much nuke first, ask questions later. But I don't think I was going to be able to do much about that. You can really only police that sort of stuff if you're America. Well, Humanity First gets their first atrocity, maybe? Things are stabilizing. Yep. The Academy gets two because they were controlling Russia. They are controlling Russia, and they're still trying to fight Ukraine. We hold no sway in their minds. Speed it up. Public opinion remains on move. Oh, hold on. This is actually this this got a bit interesting. Let's see. Japan special forces. Uh plus one command and security. Special forces group from the US, one command two security. Can only afford to get one. Assault Asset, Extract Counselor, you already have both of those missions. Increase Unrest, which you already have. Stabilizing Nation, already have. Assault Leading Asset, already have. So this would only be for what you get as part of the income. This does give some military investment, so I think I'm going to go with this. Because eventually I'm going to have to start giving military investment to India. Base is all set up, already cost Falling money, back. and thus boost. Come on! Uh Synology Lab. Our people have taken control. Alright, full control of India. Not bad. Um, yeah, like I said, ha almost half the investment going to the economy. I want this thing to accelerate. You can do the same even more so with China, because a larger population and already better economy. But uh, once you get around 50,000 per capita GDP, you are you start get losing a... Well, you don't lose it, but you don't get a higher bonus to education. So your research doesn't go up as high. That's why you have the United States with its high GDP and per capita GDP sitting at, I think, the highest research rate at the start of the game. All right. Well, I I will go ahead and say one of the main early early game objectives I wanted accomplished. I didn't get China, but I can still work on it. 
but in the meantime, I do have Japan and India, so I at least have a somewhat good industrial base. Meanwhile, the Academy has Russia. No one has America, but the Resistance is trying. Uh, so this isn't this isn't a bad start. I don't the the, the servants having a lot of control of, in Europe is a problem, but uh, I don't. I don't see anything that's immediately making me think, oh crap, this game is destined for failure. And no one controls Antarctica! You know, that's the secret. Control Antarctica, control the game. Alright, what country? Yeah, Singapore. Uh, Yamaguchi. Standing by for orders. Go ahead and make sure we don't lose anything. And actually, through that point, still undefended. Go to Japan. I'm pretty... Oh, yeah, mm. That's a problem. I may have all I may have full control of India, but it's costing me a lot of influence. So losing Israel may have been a Alright, how much is everything worth? So Sri Lanka is costing me twelve CP. Singapore is costing me about sixteen. North Korea three. Japan, uh, 17 times 3, uh, 51. Yeah, so, and that's the problem. Because the countries are pretty much, are pretty well off, they're more expensive to hold on to, and the fact that my CP is so high means missions against me are more likely to succeed, and my influence takes a massive hit. So I definitely do not want to get anything in in fact, I probably want to abandon Sri Lanka. Because while the spoils are nice, it's making me think twice. Okay, that at least got me back to a positive influence income, but I'm still almost 40 over my cap. Standing by. Uh, so with that in mind, I'm going to have to let humanity first have that point, <laughs> or else I'm going to ruin my, ruin my uh, income. Uh, so yeah. Ready to go. Original idea. Yamaguchi makes sure Singapore's locked Making down. Making things safe for our people. Ready for your orders. Uh, wow. India, India really likes us. And Japan likes us slightly less so. Let's go to... Let's start trying to make headway in China then. This, again, this is very much a long game. Because I have no way to hold on to it. But I would like to start making sure they like me. Oh, I completely forgot Mongolia. Yeah, it's pretty much another North Korea, though. Oh, do not give Mongolia a spaceflight program. That's... no. You know what? Fine. That's fine. Honestly, it probably sh I probably shouldn't invest so much into knowledge. And there. <laughs> oh, Kazakhstan also needs defense. Uh, Vamp Planet... I'm here. Mm, no, I'd rather you work on unrest here. We'll restore peace to this nation. Ready to go. You... You don't have defend interests. Well, can you work on unrest? Yes, okay then. We'll restore peace Flip to this around. nation. Standing by. Ready to go. Securing our interests. Alright. Acknowledged. Yeah, I want you to go here. Start working on making them like me more. I will tell our story. Acknowledged. I should actually, while I have the time, I might want to start sending some of these counselors to go to ground because they've been detected by almost all the factions. Go, take a nice trip to Sapporo. Going off the grid. Right as the snow starts to fall again. Securing our control. Yeah, no, Santa Claus is a great buff. Not only do you have uh, the elf workforce doing wonders for the economy, but you also have magic. Securing our control. The most powerful weapon in the game, a child's wonder. Going into hiding. Alright, use of the rockets. That's really gonna help the boost priority, which is gonna really help us when we have Singapore take off as our spaceport. I'm thinking Singapore as a spaceport kind of looks how uh I forget which planet it was. Was it maybe Europa or Ganymede? 
in Cowboy Bebop, where it was just a giant actual water port, and the ships just took off and landed into the water. Uh, let's see here. Let's do alien methods, just to get a better grasp on what they're up to. Uh... Wait a minute. Okay, I thought this was mission another mission to a planet. Whoopsie, turn that up to five. <laughs> just need a child Order to ask the returned. aliens to get away for Christmas. <laughs> Dear Timmy, I've destroyed the we alien base in the Kuiper Belt. Things. Merry Christmas, you've been such a good boy. Then there's a postcard. Just like smoking ruins. The aliens were very bad. Offering support. Your orders. Oh dear, the aliens have been busy while well, I've been trying to get my house in order. What are you doing? What, what are you doing in Pakistan? Stop that. Protecting our interests. How much am I paying for Your Pakistan? orders? Oh, a lot. I could ditch Pakistan and probably be right at my cap again. But it's not, it's not a bad country to have. It's just... Rather, I'd rather hold on to it. Between it, India, and North Korea, I have five nukes. Which means if I can kind of keep all these under one umbrella, no one is going to go to war with me. Japan already has the United States nukes to protect it. Yep. Um. Da, 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 da. Yeah, okay, so I'm getting Pakistan defended. Ready. Still want you to work on this. We must persuade the people. Where do you need me? Uh, you go ahead and start. On the way to the target to site. For me. Ready. You go to ground. You've been busy. Going off the grid. Securing our interests. Initiating deep cover. I will help them. We laud the Romans for assimilating rather than exterminating other nations. But we should not forget that their siege weapons were terrible things to behold. History is littered with accounts of opponents simply surrendering as they watch Roman catapults approaching their walls. Colonel Hans Castillo, guest lecture to officer candidates. No matter the technological advancements we might yet make, our ability to voyage to the stars will be inherently limited by what the human body can endure. Mine resources are not, however, at, at risk of being liquefied. Internal organ, uh, at, at risk of liquefied to our organs during high-speed space transit. Mass drivers employ electromagnetic acceleration to essentially hurl unmanned cargo through space at breathtaking speeds, though there's no air in space. Uh, charging and then firing their payloads in the manner of a catapult, an albeit one fueled by vast amounts of electricity and capable of firing at shots across millions of kilometers. While mass drivers are not uh, a new concept, our latest breakthroughs enable us to instantaneously feed them for greater quantities of energy uh, than ever before. Far greater, not for. Uh, thus enabling the rapid long-distance transport of an exponentially greater masses. The most immediate practical application of mass drivers is to ferry essential and precious materials mined from asteroids and other heavenly bodies back to Earth with a minimum of de delay. This technology will bring about a sea change in our ability to replenish and grow our local resource stores. Further research should be able to refine and even miniaturize the concepts behind mass drivers and hope of integrating them into weapons capable of truly devastating punch. So yes, like I said when I was playing the demo, that's how you kind of get a resource pool that doesn't have to worry about logistics. Uh, every mine is considered capable of firing uh, its payload into space wherever it's needed. 
Uh, though it does mean that when it comes to uh, producing mines, they are more expensive when they're on planets with higher, with stronger gravity. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, we're out, and luckily the resistance went ahead and went right into space mining and refining. We get a mission to Mars. December. I can send a probe off immediately, but that probe will take like about half a year to get there. Okay, we're getting influence in China. Recon complete. I am feeling a lot better about this game than I was when I first started playing it <laughs> today. Uh, ha having having a handful of countries with good economic bases is much better than having the periphery of China. Okay, let's see that we're already up to one trillion. Yeah, almost a hundred billion in thirty days. This is on a much slower uptick, because it's a combination of factors. But I like where this is going. Now, I'll probably, I'm, it's probably going to be left like this for a year or two, and then we'll come back to it. Ideally, I want to keep it like this until it gets uh, an extra CP. If the economy gets big enough, countries can gain CPs, and if they shrink, they can lose them. But to a minimum of one. A country could be dirt poor and have, like, zero GDP, and it'll have one control point. Okay, let's see. What do I want to do Standing this round? Standing by. Um, did they defend? Yep, they're defending the point again, which is about what I expected. Uh, how's how are we doing on loyalty? Well, we need to investigate some people, and also uh, space science research. All right, who's capable of investigating counselors? That, that's slower. Where to? Yeah, your world tour has already gone tits up, so guess what? You're going to start checking back in on my people. Surveilling target. At your service. I wish you could investigate, because I need someone to watch Where the to? watcher. I'm here. Ready for my mission. What's the op? Go check out what they're doing in Guatemala. We'll recon the site. Standing by for orders. We already know what they're doing in Guatemala, but why don't you go confirm it? Surveilling target area. What's the op? You keep making China like me more. Making more case. Money is starting to become Ready less to of go. an issue. Now you keep advising. Actually, maybe I should send you to India. Yeah, go to India. Offering counsel. I feel like an advise mission there is going to be a better payoff. In 1954, the Americans built the first nuclear-powered submarine and changed the course of naval warfare. Now, it is upon us to become the creators of the first nuclear-powered spaceship. It is upon us to define warfare in space. Commander Fiona Ayawade comments to media at Churchill Shipyards. We put nukes in subs in 1954. It almost rolls off the tongue. Since we discovered nuclear fission in 1938, we have used this knowledge both to give and to take, to build power plants and weapons of mass destruction alike. With every passing decade, our understanding of forces that rule the universe grew, and we were able to refine the process further. However, until now, reactors needed the pull of gravity in order to contain the chain reaction, and to keep water flowing. Without that flow, nothing happens. For, or for fission heats water, water becomes steam, steam turns turbines, and turbines generate electricity. Now, combining our concepts for deep space propulsion with, uh, with our decades of experience in nuclear fission, we were able to stabilize the first nuclear fission reaction in space. With our new reactor designs, we no longer need gravity to collect the energy released by splitting atoms. Our new containment system ensures a state, sustained chain reaction in zero G. Thanks to this achievement, our fission-powered statecraft can now reach the darkest and furthest corners of the solar system. 
nuclear reactors will power ships, weapons, and habitats, enabling us to harness countless resources far beyond our homeworld's atmosphere and meet the aliens in the vast openness of space rather than bound to our own soil. Furthermore, these new technologies will help us build the next generation of solid fishing systems and explore even greater energy potential of nuclear fusion in the future. Increases the global nuclear fission tech level by one, buffeting, buffering the world against energy crises. Yeah, these suck. I had this happen in the initiative game, and the economic depression that followed was devastating. Alright, what should I have you do next? I'm thinking solid core, because that gets me... This is the best tech for getting stuff off Earth. Uh, this really reduces the boost cost for sending stuff to the moon and whatnot, and that in turn helps you propel your uh, kind of off-Earth industrial capabilities. Uh, so it's a bit expensive. It's the most expensive tech here aside for Ad Astra. So, but I'm going for it. Alright, that'll be done in almost a year. Goody. And just in time for Mission to Mars to finish. Initiating recon. Prepping for the next mission. Yep, there's a Xeno forming. Offering assistance. Surveillance complete. That planet of loyalty of 12. That's okay. Like I said, the max for anything is 25, so... It takes so very little for one tribe of humanity to look upon a second tribe as the other. Think of what will happen once hundreds of millions of kilometers lie between us. Chancellor Li Tingzhao, distributed humanity. I think I've gushed about this, but I do like the kind of uh, Alpha Centauri little quip you get from the different faction heads. It lets, you, it lets you kind of better understand them, even if they are just faces on the screen. Though it is scarcely an appealing home, there is no better prospect within our solar system for eventual colonization than our crimson neighbor, Mars. It lacks a breathable atmosphere, the radiation risk from both galactic cosmic rays and solar energetic particles is extreme, the soil is flooded with toxins, and the low gravity will weaken both bones and muscles, and cause cardiovascular problems. Then there is the cold, and the minimal supply of water, and with travel each way to also taking months, at least until such time as we have made profound progress in spaceflight technology, only the bravest and hardiest pioneers would dare take this chance. Yet humanity is yet if humanity is ever to explore the stars, or settle on further out planets, or to trace our our Aryan visitors to their own homeworld, there is simply no choice other than Mars. In terms of temperature, sunlight, and simple proximity, no other planet in our system comes close. Our scientists are now confident that the settling of the limited number of highly trained personnel will be possible thanks to a combination of complex life support systems and certain cyanobacteria capable of photosynthesis even on Mars' hostile surface. The latter, grown in sufficient scale, can generate both food and oxygen locally and allow the propagation of more complex organisms. It is, it is from these starting blocks that long-term life on Mars will begin. So now I can throw probes at Mars. We'll do that now, because I want to make sure I beat everyone there. I don't know how much this... Do I even know if they have this tech? No, I don't. Figures. Oh, and it's on the exact opposite side of the solar system from us, so this will take the longest time. So thank goodness I did get high thrust probes. So I'll find that out in June of 2024. Great timing resistance. Told you we weren't ready to go to Mars yet. Jeez. Public opinion remains on move. We found something. Alright, now we can build Xeno Labs, and I think it's probably not the best long term plan to spend the boost now to build this, but I do want to start making some progress in low Earth orbit. So, let's see. Uh, this will actually help when we start colonizing Mars. So yeah, go ahead and do that. Show me Tiangong Station. Alright, let's see. That takes 5 power and 1.5 boost. Okay. Not much. 
Uh, so having this in low Earth orbit means it adds a plus one bonus to alien detection. Uh, and, of course, increases my research into Zeno in the xenology category. So having this specifically in low Earth orbit is very helpful. Plus, now it starts to look like an honest-to-goodness space station instead of just one floating thingamabob in space. Though it's not much of a space station right now. How's the ISS doing? Usually by this point, it's gotten an event that blows up something. Uh, nope. Still going strong. Let's just stare at it for a moment. Black controller is about 15 seconds for CSM act. There's your moment of zen. Now, whee! Look at it go! There it goes. And there it goes. And there it goes. And now it's going really fast! You know, this helps you appreciate just how many times it orbits the planet in one go. One day. You know, one go. You know what, how long a go is, right? How long... How, Chad, how long do you think a go is? This is an experiment. Ready. Investigating alien sight. I'm here. Standing by. Epam says five. Zalta agrees, five. This is good, this is good data. On Overwatch. Reporting in. Lord of Endgame says a go is equal to three moments. Okay. I will try to sway the public. Where do you need me? Lending my expertise. Oh, look at that public opinion. 93% believe we should leave. Initiating recon. Offering assistance. Having uncovered evidence of multiple livestock abductions, uh, livestock oh my gosh. Having uncovered evidence of multiple livestock abductions, abductions, abductions. Don't know why that doesn't roll off the tongue. Sometime before the first correlated human disappearance, it would seem that the aliens have been observing us long enough to understand Earth's biological and social hierarchies. In short, they have steadily worked their way up the food chain. By analyzing patterns, the species, locations, the frequency, the subtlety or lack thereof, the proximity of to settlements the re of recent disappearances, we can now paint a clear picture of the methodology. We have completed the alien research alien methods. The earliest disappearances were all low-level, uh, lower-order mammals, unremarkable except in their frequency and number. Over a period of 10 to 20 days after the crash landing, the animal disappearances ceased and human disappearances began. Early human disappearances followed no obvious pattern, but later ones it included a disproportionate fraction of individuals with higher social socioeconomic status. The mood among the research team is bleak. It seems our hopes of coexistence and information exchange are to be dashed. The aliens appear to be, at the very least, unconcerned with our welfare and may well be actively hostile. A number of these, a, a number of the abductees have returned. Some of our researcher, some of our research is, uh, some of our researches, researches, some of our researches. That's not right. That doesn't work. That doesn't go. Some of our research has expressed okay researchers they're missing the r some of our researchers have expressed their hope that this indicates that the abductions were a hoax however given the situation we do not feel we can afford to be so optimistic have our counselors investigate more closely it's some of our researchers but it wasn't they missed the last r so i got thrown off there until i read the rest of the sentence there is a lot of typing, I imagine, when, it made, when they made this game. A typo or two is not unforeseen. It's just unfortunate. 
Uh, I still don't feel like I have the stuff to kit out a proper warship. As much as I know that that's probably the more interesting thing to look at in this game. Uh, let's do a... We'll need a space dock eventually to build the ships. Plus we can launch probes from it. Yeah, no, do that. But actually, scale it down. We don't need it soon. Our cost is unjustified to them. Score one for the good guy. I don't understand how our cause is unjustified. It's just, what if we took all the people and pushed them somewhere else? Here's what we found. Uh-oh. We got people in India. They're probably after that uncontested control point. Offering counsel. Ready for my mission. Back to India. Making things safe for our people. Ready for orders. You go to Slovakia. You deal with that. You can't go why can't you go to Slovakia? Or is that oh that is Broslava, okay. That that sounds so much like an error noise. Going in hot. Ready for orders. Uh, why don't you... I don't want you to kill anybody. Can you contact the Academy yet? That That's humanity first. Sure, why not? Go go talk to humanity first. Maybe they have something to say to us. We'll open a channel. Acknowledged. They're probably just going to call us cowards. Making our case. Securing our interests. Initiating contact. Your little science project is amusing. At least the technologies you are developing will be useful in the fight against the invaders. He didn't even call us cowards. He just said we're cute. Don't hit on us, man. All right, what do you got? No projects, no habs. Orgs, you've got... Ooh, you got Perrin. I kind of want that just for the clout. Okay. You're probably going to make me pay out the butt for that. And Templin Institute. I can't pay for all these YouTubers, dang it. Oh, jeez, and you're loaded. I could give them... I can't give them Tango on Station. What do I have that you would even want? Yeah, I don't have any projects. All the orgs I have I'm using. I probably can't even buy one of these, let alone both. You're pretty low on influence, though, and I actually have a pretty good income. Maybe we can make a deal on that end. Okay, what if I got rid of the Templar Institute? Wow, even just one of these is expensive. Uh, yeah, that, I don't think this is worth it. It's good influence income and submission control, which I lost with Israel, but I don't know. Pretty much having to offer everything in my stockpile, and I'm not going to give them a boost. Uh, all right, how about non how about non aggression? How much would you accept for that? No, they're already pleased with me. I don't need to offer something generous. What, 200 was enough? How about 150? Yeah, fine. I will help them. Although they're immediately going to get mad at me when I eventually purge them from Japan. But that'll be a while's off. Public sentiment is increasingly with us. Good. In fact, stay there. I'll take you off when I need you. By the number. Oh, White Fang Industries is up for sale. That's always a good one. Let's see here. Great boost income plus admin and science. Can our tech mogul take it? Uh, yeah, I like that. Here. Oh. 
Ding dong stations getting kitted out. Controllers about fifteen seconds to CSMX. Huh. <sighs> that audio. I probably won't be on for too much longer. Just wanna see if I can leave myself in a good spot. In case I have to stop playing this for another two weeks. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, this would be pretty good if I actually had mines to use, but then again, it is money. Just the just the income itself might help cushion the blow. Uh, I don't think this is the best choice, but go ahead and hold on to that. Meanwhile, I'm thinking, yeah, you go ahead and take this. You know, we already have pretty good security. Uh, having you able to assault alien assets ain't nothing. Just don't know if I want to use that admin for this. Uh, yeah, go ahead and take it. What are you doing here? Puna Wong? Puna Wong? Puna Wong? Puna Wong? Oh, God. Ponya Wong. I don't like that you're here. I want you to go away. Ready for orders. Standing by. Find out why this fucker's in Japan. Investigating target. I'm here. We're going in. Ready for orders. Offering support. 92%. Why can't China believe in me like India does? <laughs> Alright, so we gotta make sure we keep that on rest We'll now. make things safe. Offering counsel. We've found nothing of note. Disappointing. Things are cooling off. We are winning their hearts and minds. Unable to destroy target. Eh. Disappointing round, everybody. Not exactly unforeseen. I did abandon it. Alright, let's see here. We're about uh, four months away from getting the read back from Mars. Everyone is a bit poor right now. Uh, at least when it comes to nations to control. The servants are tapped. Vanity first can have about one or two more. Let's see, where are we at? India's pretty solidly in my hands. China is solidly in nobody's hands. Japan is split. The resistance is making headway in America, but they're probably butting up. Yeah, they already had to abandon Canada. They're, they're going to start. They're probably going to have to abandon Mexico soon, too, just to try and keep growing. Uh, Servant's still solidly in control of Europe. The middle of Europe. Otherwise, it's a bit of a sprawl. Uh, Ukraine seems to be doing well. For some reason, they're attacking the Kiev region without having occupied Kharkiv. That seems a bad plan, but leave it to the Academy to make bad plans. Humanity First has a nuke in Iran. Fighting over Turkey with the Servants. Africa is a bit split, though it looks like the Protectorate has a heavy presence here. Same for Southeast Asia. Indonesia, I'm sad to lose. Alright, I, I think this is a game where no one really has a strong start. 
Me having India means I might be able to speed into the lead, but I do not think I'm in the lead by any stretch of the imagination. But I'm willing to say that is a good step forward compared to our last uh, save. So we'll go ahead and overwrite that. Throw caution into the wind there. And thank you guys for joining me for this Later Night Friday stream. I hope uh, everyone had a good time. Let me see. I don't think anyone else got back on streaming today. So I don't know who exactly to raid to keep the night going for you guys. Let's see here. Let me... hold on, let me check something. You know what? Uh, Monty Glue is playing Mario, and I know that's pretty outside the network, but I still have a good time. Oh, is Gaijin good with streaming? You know, if Gaijin... Yeah, you know what? We feel like Gaijin is in the network. So if he's streaming, I think uh, he gets priority on the list. I just didn't have him on mine. Apologies, apologies. I don't mean to besmirch Monty in any way. I just try to go in the order of things. Hold on. I'm not going to click right now until I have confirmation I'm actually sending you guys to a stream. If he Gaijin's offline, then I'm going to go back to my original suggestion. Okay, Gaijin's not online. Yep, he did just end. Cancel! Cancel, everybody! False start. All right. There we go. <laughs> Monty it is. We'll just forget that that happened. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a good night. Have a great weekend. I'll be back with more Digimon Survive on Tuesday. Bye bye